Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here back again. Now feel free to check out my previous videos, but this is the next step. I'm actually going to grill the burgers on this charcoal grill. You can see my, my coals are flaming. You can see how nice and, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, how clean my grill is now, because I scraped it and then it burned off. It's very sanitized. I'm gonna grab my burgers. Um, these, best way to marinate them, and, and I'm gonna post a separate video. I don't have it as of this moment but how to marinate burgers. So basically a simple process, all it takes, get you some Worcestershire, some salt and pepper and garlic powder at a minimum, and that makes a perfect marinade. And that's what I did here, just Worcestershire and garlic powder, salt and pepper. And what I'm gonna do with this still flaming up, now obviously with other types of meat, you don't want to flame. With a burger, I like a flame when I first put them on because what it does, it helps to really lock in that flavor. You don't want to keep them there too long because they'll burn, but this is just really going to help to lock that flavor in. And let them sit there for just a little bit. If you try to rotate them too quickly, what's going to happen, they're going to fall apart. A burger's made of ground up meat that's bonded together. So if you don't let it firm up before you flip it, you're going to create a mess. See, like that one, I should have let it sit there a little bit longer. This one, a little bit longer as well. But this one's going to be dead on, and I'll demonstrate why that's the case. And that's the thing, if you look at uh, grilled hamburgers, you notice those grill marks? Those actually come from the grill. If you buy something out of the frozen food section, and it has grill marks on it, it's painted on there. This is the real deal. This is how to cook an authentic burger. Now, in a, in a later video, what I'm going to do, and something I want to point out before this video concludes, this spatula, since I put it in the in the uh, marinating dish to grab the burgers is now contaminated potentially with E. coli. So what you're going to want to do after you get uh, after you get to cooking here, you're actually going to want to put your spatula in the grill area and let it sanitize. Let that the the possible E. coli and other bacteria burn off. Because if you took this and just put it back in your dish, you're going to contaminate it. And if you took this and you didn't uh, put it in heat, it's gonna be contaminated. What I always do, after I get things going here, I take my casserole dish, I put it in the sink, I, I clean it off, and then I put it in my dishwasher. So it will, there's no risk of it being reused. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make, first time grillers, and they get sick and they don't realize why. And it's because they either use contaminated spatula, where they put their burgers back in their marinating dish, that had raw meat in it before, so be careful. And uh, most importantly, subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irix guy. And you're gonna have to come back and check out my follow-up video to this and check my previous videos too if you haven't seen them. I'm actually gonna demonstrate how we finish these. We're gonna make cheeseburgers. So we're gonna add, uh, we'll see that in a future video. Y'all have a good day.